Today we will compare the public cloud and the private cloud. Subscribe now and let's go! Before we compare private and public clouds, let's focus on the characteristics of the two. We start with public clouds. Here, the cloud resources including server and storage are both owned as well as operated by a third-party cloud service provider. The services are delivered over the internet and accessed through normal web browsers. This means that both the hardware and software are managed and owned by the cloud provider. In the public cloud, we share hardware, storage and networking capabilities with other enterprises. Examples for public cloud providers are AWS, MS Azure or Google Cloud. Private clouds, on the other hand, provision computing resources exclusively for one enterprise. It can be hosted on-site at your organization or by a third-party service provider. This makes it easy to adapt the resources as needed. Private cloud environments are often utilized by organizations seeking enhanced control over their soft and hardware. Let's now focus on the advantages and disadvantages of public clouds. Let's start with the advantages. Agility is one advantage of public clouds. With public clouds, we can provision and deploy new computing resources instantly which accelerates the time to market with new products and services. Furthermore, there's scalability. It's easy to add more computing resources to meet increased computing demand. There's also availability. Public clouds provide more uptime than traditional data centers. Next, there's performance. Public clouds make it easy to access high-performance computing resources, if required. Additionally, there are low costs associated with public clouds. Public clouds save users money by reducing the need for IT staff to manage own hardware and by charging based on your usage. And last but not least, there's location independence. Users can access public cloud services from any internet-connected device, which provides greater mobility for the workforce. On the other hand, there are also some disadvantages which come with public cloud. First of all, there are security concerns. Since organizations are giving up control over physical hardware that runs their apps and stores their data, it's more difficult for them to know if their information is adequately protected. And also large data centers serving multiple organizations are popular targets for hackers. Next, there is compliance. Some companies must comply with laws that make it impractical to use cloud services for some applications. And last but not least, there are unpredictable costs. The same pay-per-use model, which keeps public cloud's cost low, can also become a disadvantage. If the usage of a particular app skyrocks, the organization will have to pay more. And some organizations may decide that the predictability is too important and cannot be met using a public cloud. Let's now look at the advantages and disadvantages of private clouds. Let's first focus on the advantages. One major advantage of private clouds is security. This is the major reason why businesses choose private over public clouds. With a private cloud, businesses will have the full control over the infrastructure, allowing them to add security measures as needed. Enhanced compliance is another advantage of private clouds. Where the organization owns own servers, it can make sure that all the data storage will comply with any kind of regulations. Another advantage are predictable costs. Since enterprises are purchasing the hardware and software themselves, they know precisely what the cloud will cost and don't have to worry about unpredictable costs at all. Furthermore, there's customization. Another major advantage is that businesses can choose exactly the hardware they need to run their apps and store their data. And last but not least, there's location independence. Private clouds can also be accessed from anywhere over the internet. One major disadvantage are the costs. Businesses purchasing and managing their infrastructure themselves will pay more. Furthermore, there's management complexity. With private cloud environments, businesses have to handle all the services that would otherwise be provided by a public cloud service provider. Furthermore, there's limited agility, scalability and availability. If additional resources are needed, we can't just scale up and provide more computing power. This limits the agility of the company. And last but not least, there's performance. Organizations deploying private clouds mostly don't have the same ability to invest in the latest computing hardware as public cloud vendors do. Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. If you like this content, please subscribe to my channel to not miss any more videos. See you next time.